Hi viewers, thought I'd do this very quick video for you on toned versus blast white silver, get your uh, opinions. Uh, there's a very good reason for this video which I'll come to in a minute. But um, anyway, from the thumbnail that's the two coins, the uh, Mexican Libertad and the Spanish 8 Reales. Now obviously there's a very, very different appearance to each of them. But equally, there's a very, very different age. Um, now, uh, you know, should it just be old silver that's toned, or do you like modern silver that's toned? But uh, anyway, we'll get on to the uh, reason for me doing this video. Oh, I didn't show you the... Uh... There we go. There he is. That's probably my darkest toned piece that I have in my... Uh, collection I won't call it stack because obviously this is not a stacking coin <laughs> um, anyway the reason for doing the video really is this that I've had in my uh, toning cabinet for well over a year I think um, it's the Mexican un peso caballito and uh, as you can see some stunning colours there, hopefully they show up on camera, there's uh, golden hues, blues, reds, you know, gorgeous uh, rainbow toning. Um, for those of you who follow me on Instagram may recognise this coin, it's uh, pre-toning my icon on Instagram. But uh, anyway, I'm sure you all want to see that side as well. I'm just hoping these uh, colours show up because they're pretty amazing to the naked eye. They really are. And uh, and I think I've kind of left it long enough in my uh, toning cabinet. It's naturally toned. There's no artificial uh, chemicals or anything involved. Um, but I think I've left it long enough now and uh, it's time to encapsulate it and I thought well before I do that I'll uh, make a video about toned um, silver. Now uh, I'm sure we all have uh, varying opinions but um, older coins I think uh, you know do look nice but there are some modern pieces equally that do look nice and I'm sure many of you will have seen this uh, toned privateer of mine. Um, for those of you that have this series in these capsules, you'll know that it is an absolute bitch to get them out, so, which is why I haven't. Um, but yeah, this has got some lovely, lovely colours in it as well, which uh, is kind of spoilt by the capsule, which so you can't see it, but obviously even darker toning on that side. Um, so I think, uh, you know, certain modern pieces do also look very good toned, um, along with some of the poured silver. This is my lion from Bay City Bullion. And obviously you can see the back of that because it's been on a stand. That hasn't toned as much as the front. So I might switch that round now. <laughs> and uh, equally the same applies to my... Uh, YPS piece, 100 grams. So, uh, so anyway, that was really the uh, discussion. Oh, the sunlight comes out now that I've put the coins away and you could have seen the colours better. <laughs> Let's have a look while we've got the sun shining through the window. See if it shows up even better. It may not, of course, it may just reflect right off of the coin. But uh, anyway, that was uh, the point of the video. I was going to encapsulate that one because I don't really want it to go much darker than that. I'm quite happy with that colour. I don't really want it to uh, to go the colour of the uh, eight reales. But uh, anyway, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. What type of silver you like tone or whether you like all of it blast white like the Libertad. I mean, if you're just a stacker of bullion, then probably, I guess, you would. But then, these are kind of bullion pieces too, along with the privateer. 
so uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments anyway thanks for watching bye